Okay, it's a nice and sunny day after long, long days of lots of rain. I'm going to feed my goats a little bit of bread. Come. Here. Something for you. So, one goat gets two pieces and one goat gets nothing. That's the way it goes. But, what I wanted to show is not the goats, but the incredible amount of flowers in this field behind the meadow where the goats live. The biggest concentration is yet to come. But you have here a flower like this with lots of insects on it. We've had really weeks of rain here in Holland. And the result is that there are now more flowers than ever. Don't ask me what their names are. Sometimes I know the Dutch names, but English names never. Three years ago, the water management authorities, they decided that this waterway had to be cleaned up, which meant that all the mud from the bottom was taken out and thrown on the land of the people living next to it, like this piece of land. That had one big advantage, oh no, two. One was that they paid me handsomely for uh, receiving the mud, uh, which they were obliged to do by law. Um, the other thing is that this, this, what you're looking at now, became um, virgin land without any growth on it. So what I did, instead of sowing grass on it like the farmers did, were well, there and there, uh, I've been sowing flowers and even the authorities paid for that so most of these flowers you're looking at here were introduced mm -hmm. and they're flowers that belong to this area but had not been grown here prior to this special exercise there are some flowers which are which were growing here prior to it all, like this one, Leverkraut in Dutch, and this one, the Kattenstaart in Dutch, and this one over here, Wilgeroos in Dutch, but this one's new, and this one is new, this one is just new. And what else is new? Look how much water is still on the land. Um, these ones are new, I probably already showed one of these. And This flower, like this one, which is new. I think this is quite amazing to see all these flowers here. And it really started growing when the mix of rain and sunshine came and it's attracting amounts of insects which are really really amazing what I have to do still is 
create some lodgings for the bees and other flying insects. Take large pieces of wood, which you would otherwise burn in the uh, wood burning stove, and you drill holes in it, horizontal holes, and then the, the bees will come and build a nest there. Now this is the canal here. There's a duck. I know she's living here and she has some kids as well. I don't know where the kids are. Maybe still where she left. Hello. It's very, very full of water as anyone, everyone can see now. So this was more or less the end of the tour. I just want to show this, this plant, mint. I wish you could show the smell on the video, but I can't. Mint is very common to this place. was not introduced by me, has been here all the time. And this one is rather common, Engelwortel in Dutch. And just... It's very, very unusual for this area to be as wet as this. Just be careful not to disappear. But look at all the Kattestaarte there, the pink ones, and there is the goats in the distance. That's what I want to show. Thank you very much.